Welcome to dailyrecord.co.uk. We are here in rehearsal with Deacon Blue and I'll be speaking to Ricky Ross and Lorraine McIntosh about their 25th anniversary tour and also the release of their new album, The Hipsters. Larry McIntosh, Ricky Ross, welcome to dailyrecord.co.uk. Thank you. Congratulations on 25 years of Deacon Blue. Thank you very how, much. How on earth, how does that feel? A, 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 a silver anniversary. I know, it's unbelievable. Um, it's actually kind of hard to believe in some ways, and yet in, in another way it feels like we've been doing this our whole life, so, and I'm only 27. <laughs> well, so, well. You know. <laughs> no, it, it, it feels good actually, it just feels good. Yeah, it does. I, I think what feels good to me always is when you get um, people saying how much the song's meant to them and over the course of that time. Because we've been putting stuff up on Facebook and little personal mementos, things that I've been finding and putting that up and then realising that the songs have been part of people's lives for that length of time. I think that's... Yeah. I never thought what that would feel like and it does feel fantastic. I'm very flattered that people have accepted the songs into their lives and they've become part of their fabric. That's fantastic. Has there been any point like in the kind of the journey of the band where you thought that you would you would evolve into one of these bands that twenty five years later is still attracting mm -hmm. a crowd, is still getting to play big gigs and, and is still releasing albums? I'll be honest with you, there was, there was nights that we came home in the last 10 years and we were doing gigs or maybe a couple of gigs and thought, mm, I think we should stop doing it, you know, we just didn't. I think sometimes we thought, well, why are we doing it? And then that suddenly switched and I think part of the switch was just finding the right combination of people as well, live, and it switched from feeling that. Sometimes we'd come home and think, oh, why did we do that? I don't know why, it was just a sort of feeling of maybe just going back and... The audience would like to and so on, but it was just a feeling that we'd both sit in the kitchen and we'd come back and go, oh, I'm not sure we did the right thing there. And then it switched to about three years mm. ago and we're playing live and I thought I was really enjoying it and I got to the point where I thought, I'm enjoying it so much I really want to get in the studio. And it really, it was just a kind of, it was a switch, but there have been times when I thought, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do it anymore. You've got back into the studio. You've got a new album, The Hipsters, out later this month. Um, at what point did you did you did you think that an album was was a possibility? I mean, was because you write songs for yourself, mm. you write songs for your Macintosh Ross project, you write songs for loads of other people. Is it go into the bag of songs and oh, we've got enough for a Deacon Blue album? Not really. What happened was I we were interested in making another Macintosh Ross album, and funnily enough, I was having a chat with prospective manager about what we should do and I said and of course we'll do something Deacon Blue project and I said I think we need to do something new at some point he said no no you need to make an album and it, it kind of shocked me into <coughs> I, I came out of his office kind of walking on it because he sort of convinced me that that was the obvious thing to do and once the idea had been planted in my head I came home and started writing for it and literally the next day I mean some people say that it was the next day I had a song title called The Hipsters and had a little part this keyboard part that I thought that could be good and I put the two together and I was so excited about this idea I didn't know the album was going to be called that, but I liked the idea. And when I got that song, I thought, well, this is good. This is great, you know, growing legs. And I think there was also the realisation that we couldn't keep touring, you know, and we were loving touring towards, you know, the most recent tours we've done and, and gigs and festivals and things have been great. But there was always a realisation that you can't go on, and we don't want to go on playing the same songs forever. So we were kind of confronted with the idea that if you want to keep doing this, you really have to make a new album. So it was just a matter of getting the time, or Ricky getting the time and the energy together and getting the songs together. And once he started that process, it seemed to happen quite quickly. You're looking forward to going back out and tour? Can't wait. Really looking forward to it, yep. How do you think these songs will, will, will sort of rest next to the old ones? Well, I think they are, um, they're up there in terms of uh, they're, as, they're as brilliant to me as the old ones. I think audiences always take a while to get to kind of know new songs, but hopefully um, the album will be out, so hopefully they will know some of them, and uh, I, I hope, they'll, hope they'll love them. 